This is Higgs's original paper. The actual bottle used to celebrate the Higgs boson. Okay, so I'm here at CERN to show you some of the amazing things there. I've got a whole playlist full of particle physics, so do check that out if you want to know the details. I'm just going to show you some of the amazing things we see here at CERN today. The cyclotron. To the two Ds. <laughs> two tubes through which the protons circulate, one in either direction. <laughs> part of the LEP ring which have occupied the LHC tunnel before the LHC. The BEBC, the Big European Bubble Chamber. It's quite big. So the little squiggles that are going in funny directions, they're electrons. And the short fat ones, they're alpha particles, which are obviously really ionizing. Yeah, so they don't get very far. And now the long straight ones, they're the muons. The muons are much higher energies than electrons. Muons come from this cosmic shower, and they, they, because they've got much higher energy, they have a higher speed, therefore they're getting deflected less. Does that make sense? So you've got three main types of particles you see in here that are just occurring naturally. And then those three buttons, Dylan, they correspond to little little sources that get injected. Alpha particle, it's just out, out here, look. And then is the last one, is there? No, this one. Oh, right. And then this one is a beta emitter, this one here. Uh, the one you've got your hand on, Max. Go for it. So that's, sh that's showering it in beta particles, yeah? See all that? Literally so ionizing it obliterated everything, didn't it? Look. So this is a spark counter, it's a big grid of wires with a very high potential difference across them, and every now and then you'll see this flash coming down. And that is part of a cosmic shower. Okay, this is a really simple way of thinking of how a particle detector works. We're basically seeing the particle deposit some charge that comes along and cause a spark. And we can read the size of those sparks and hence infer the energies and the charges of the particles involved. Here's a calorimeter, which is exactly what it says on the tin. It measures the energy of the particles that are coming through it. Playing all the time here at CERN, they have collisions on the CMS detector and this has been playing since this room was opened and they're currently only on 2010 March number or rather run 13240 and event 2872297 there's lots more of those to come of course CERN being the place where the internet was invented. This was the first HTTP internet server, okay? So, um, and Tim Berners-Lee felt the need to stick this sticker on there. Why do you think he needed to put a sticker that says, this machine is a server, please do not power down? I know that, that people sell us as, uh, I don't know, crazy people, uh, these Einstein, uh, picture with the air like that. Okay, it's not the case. We are very profitable. We have some exceptions, yeah. But uh, however, uh, what we do here is just to push the knowledge and then we enjoy this outside. One example is the web. Huh? You know the web, the www? It was born here, it was invented here. So the internet was powering down every Tuesday and he was trying to work out why that was. And it was only after he realized that every Tuesday his office was cleaned and what was happening was the cleaner was coming in and unplugging the server <laughs> so that she could plug in uh, her hoover <laughs> to clean his office. So this is one of the funniest stories um, about the inception of the way we communicate today, which is our internet. 
don't know if you've seen the Steve Jobs movie, but this is actually a Next Cube, which was Steve Jobs' uh, machine that he built after he was fired from Apple. His original paper proposal states vague, but exciting. Anche degli anni secondi, people è del disagio di understand how works the big object in terms of the constituent, knowing the constituent of the big object. It's very astonishing, very surprising. Why? Because do you know the dimension of the galaxies? The galaxies are objects that have the dimension of 10 to the 30 centimeters. Oh, 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 oh.